good day everyone. My name is Lavnil E. Gallardo. So, we will discuss this all about entrepreneur. So, how entrepreneur works the businessman? Entrepreneur is the creations of value. Entrepreneur is defined as the act of starting and running your own business. An entrepreneur is typically create a business plan, hire labor, acquire resources, and financing and provide leadership and management for the business. So next is a different behavior or attitude of an entrepreneur. So first is creativity. Entrepreneurs should be creative of their product. Second, knowledge. Knowledge is the key to success. Next, passion. Your work, your work should be your passion or our or an entrepreneur should be passionate. Next, planning. Planning is the most important to create your own business. You need to plan it all. Social skills. Social skills are also needed to be a good entrepreneur. Overall, this make up the qualities re required for an entrepreneur functions. Professionalism. Is a quality which all which all good entrepreneurs must possess. Open mindedness. You need as an entrepreneur, you need to be open towards learning, people, and even failure. Risk taking. A good entrepreneur are always ready to invest their time and money, but they always have a backup for every risk they take. Empathy. Entrepreneurs should be should understand of what goes on on someone's mind. And the last is the customer is everything. Entrepreneurs should know the need of the customer, and also the entrepreneur will always know this is a business is all about the customer. So, what factors affect the culture of organization? The first and the foremost factor affecting culture is the individual working with the organization. The employees in their own way contribute to the culture of the workplace. The attitude, mentalities, interests, per per perceptions, and even the thoughts process of the employees affect the organization's culture. So, how organizations live longer? In era of a rapid popula population's aging, many employment and social policies, practices, and attitude that discourage work at, at an older age have passed their sell by date and need to be need to be overhauled they not only deny older workers choice about when and how to retire but are but are costly for business the economy and society if nothing is done to promote better employment prospect for older workers the number of retirees per worker in, C in OECD countries will double will double over the next 5 decades this will threaten this will threaten this will threaten living standards and put enormous pressure on the financing of social protection system to help to help meet this challenges work needs to ne needs to be made a more attractive and re rewarding rewarding propositions for all their workers so the next one is we can say that organization is a powerful tool for human being. So effective organizations create results and to be fully effective nonprofit must exhibit strength strength 
and five core organizational areas, leadership, decision, meeting, and structure. People work, work processes, and system, and culture. Too many people are involved in every decision. So next is why divisional structure are very important very important important for organization a, dif a divisional organization organizational structure gives a largest business enterprises the ability to segregate large sections of the companies companies business into a semi autonomous group will generally better Better suit to a large organization in some circumstances is for formal structure may also benefit a smaller business. The next one is the different role and function of line and staffing of organization. A line function is one that directly advances an organization in its cure work. A staff functions supports the organizations with spe specialized advisory and support and support function for example human human resources accounting public relations and the legal department department are generally considered to be staff function how the key elements work of organization the four common elements of an organization include common purpose, coordinated effort, divisions of labor, and hierarchy of authority. So, what are the employees' role in the organization? The employees are the true assets of an organization. They are the ones who contribute effectively towards the successful functioning of an organization. These strive hard to, to deliver 